Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Arias and welcome to my show. Today I'll be taking a quick look at Pacific Biosciences and I'll show you why I think it's worth a spec play. We'll talk about the advantages they have and the news that surfaced last week about a deal with Invitae that I find very intriguing. If you like shorter videos like this or have any feedback whatsoever, leave it in the comments below. I'm also thinking about going through all of the ARK Invest Genomic Revolution ETF stocks one by one and giving a quick rundown on what it is. So let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in that. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed as well. And without further further ado, let's get right into it. Let's start out talking about what sets PacBio apart from others and what will provide it with long-term advantages in the future. It all comes down to the benefits of their long read sequencing technology over the current favored way of sequencing short read. Long read is the most accurate way of sequencing across all areas of the genome because it can detect repetitive mutations as well as large genome reshuffle mutations. It also gives a look at methylation as part of the normal workflow, which is important for the study of oncology. ARK Invest explains these advantages even better than I can in their December webinar, and I'll have the link to that and timestamps in the description below. The current barrier to the adoption of this superior technology is the additional cost. Right now, it costs about $3,000 to sequence a whole human genome on a PacBio machine, while it is only $600 for the same job on an aluminum machine. However, these costs have been declining as long read sequencing was 18 times more expensive in 2010 and is now just five times more expensive. Ark Invest thinks these costs are falling at a constant rate for every cumulative doubling of capacity and thinks long read will nearly be at parity with short read in terms of cost around 2025. These long-term cost declines, coupled with the superior qualities of long-range sequencing, will drive the long-term adoption of PacBio systems and away from Illumina systems. PacBio will be taking market share away from Illumina over the next decade, and I think Illumina knows this, as they tried to buy PacBio out about a year ago, but the deal fell through due to regulatory concerns. This is part of why ARK Invest sold off their Illumina position a few months back as they came to realize that the 800-pound gorilla in the sequencing space with 90% market share was under threat. Let's move on to some news that came out over the last week during the JP Morgan Healthcare Conference. And this was that Invitae and PacBio had agreed to a collaboration to develop a production-scale, high-throughput sequencing platform leveraging PacBio's long-read technology. Invitae is another company that I hold, and for those who don't know, they are involved in the genetics testing space. Part of Invitae's mission is building a platform whereby a person's genome can be stored and referenced throughout their life anytime they need they are growing quickly and already have high scale. You can imagine how integral the best sequencing technology will be to this endeavor, and this is why they have partnered with PacBio. In their press release, they specifically set the target of delivering a clinically relevant whole human genome for substantially less than $1,000. This would allow for the high level of adoption in the clinic that I was referring to previously that would allow PacBio to take market share in the next generation sequencing market. Invite has agreed to fund some of this development process in addition to the $300 million plus that PacBio has on their balance sheet, which will give them a few few years at least with the current losses to complete this development. Let's move on to their potential, which I think even after more than a 10x in the stock in the last year may still be undervalued. Illumina is valued at $57 billion, while PacBio is only a $7.5 billion company after another 8% move today. However, PacBio should consistently be taking market share from Illumina over the next 5 to 10 years as they begin to have comparable costs and due to long read sequencing's superior qualities. Who wouldn't want to have a better product for a comparable price? And this will drive long-term adoption. Moving on to Arkansas. Invest. They own a little more than a billion dollars in PacBio stock, or about 13% of the company, between the ARK Innovation ETF and the ARK Genomics ETF. PacBio is even the largest position in the ARK Genomics ETF, so ARK clearly believes in this stock a lot. Finally, I bought in at a $7.48 cost basis, which leaves me up about 439% today, which is definitely substantial. At these prices, I am not interested in buying more, as it is only a spec play for me, and I am comfortable with my current position size. I think PacBio has the ability to bring these costs down, but in the end, who really knows if they will? end up being successful, and thus it will remain a relatively small 2% position for me that I will hold for the long term. Let me know what you think about Plaque Bio stock. Is it worth a spec play? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any video ideas, I'd love to hear those below as well. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day.